Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Whisper Living. Today I have an extra special recipe video for you guys. This recipe is for pera and it is how we make it back in the islands. There are a few ways to make it and I'll be sharing with you how I make it. And this video is extra special because this is a collaboration video. I'm collaborating with Naveen over at Chani Indian Kitchen and he's gonna show you how he makes his peras. So be sure to check out his channel. He has some great recipes on there. Naveen has both Fijian and Trini Indian background, so he has great fusion dishes. So be sure to check out his channel. Now without further ado, let's get right into the recipe. You only need a few ingredients for this recipe, which is what's great about it. So we're gonna need some dry milk powder. This is full fat, um, instant dry whole milk powder on the islands. You get either rewa milk or red cow. If you have access to a Fijian Indian store, you can get those there. If not, then try to use any whole fat or full fat um, dry milk. The low fat or the skim or non-fat stuff dry milk does not work. We're going to need some condensed milk. I'm using about half a can here. You can adjust this to your liking. If you like your beard a little bit sweeter, you can use more. I'm also going to use freshly grated nutmeg and a fourth of a cup of milk. And optionally, you can add saffron. I really like the taste of saffron that is imparted in the pera recipe, so I always add it. Traditionally, it's not added on the um, in the pera on the islands. So if you are using saffron, just soak it in the milk, and then just dump it together when it's time for it. You're also going to need a little bit of ghee or butter, um, about a couple of tablespoons. So we're going to start off um, in a pan, non-stick pan over medium heat and then we're just going to dump in all our condensed milk and the dry milk powder. Then you're going to stir this really really well and make sure that it's well combined. Once the mixture is well combined and it becomes a little hard to stir because the condensed milk is sticking, go ahead and add in your milk and if you're using the saffron then it would be the saffron milk mixture. Now you want to start combining this really well so it's going to start becoming this slurry and as you keep combining it'll start coming together. You'll notice that the milk mixture starts forming a dough ball and at this point you want to add in about a tablespoon of ghee and mix it in really well. The ghee will help um, bring break up the ball a little bit but it'll also help it not be as sticky. So you'll notice that when you're first uh, combining it, it'll get, become very sticky and then it'll start becoming easier for you to handle the dough. At this point, your mixture is ready and you can turn off the heat. You now want to grate in your fresh nutmeg. Now if you're using pre-grated nutmeg, then you're probably going to use about a teaspoon or to your liking. If you don't like a lot of nutmeg, um, then don't use as much. But the freshly grated nutmeg makes a huge difference. So if you can have uh, fresh, freshly grated nutmeg, then please opt for it. Then you just want to mix in the nutmeg into the mixture and then take it out into a clean bowl to let it cool down so you can handle it. Now you don't want it to be too cool, but enough for you to handle it because now we're going to bind it into little balls. To form the pears, we're going to grease our palms with some ghee oil or butter. And then we're going to take a tablespoon of the mixture at a time and roll it into small balls. You want to make sure that there are no cracks in these balls. So um, roll them out into very smooth balls. And then we're going to just press them gently and make them into a disc. Now you can leave them like this at this point or you can decorate them. I use Russian piping tips to uh, get little uh, designs on them. You can also use the spoolie of a thread if you have the design kind, or you could dip it in sanding sugar or a regular granulated sugar and it looks really pretty. During the festive season, I use different colors of sanding sugar. I also use um, some sprinkles sometimes. So I use these little sprinkle balls and then I'll put them in the middle and it looks really pretty, really festive, especially great during Diwali and the festive seasons. So that was my recipe for peras, you guys. I hope you enjoy this recipe and you give it a try. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. And before you leave, please make sure you check out Naveen's channel. I will have the link down below to Trini Indian Kitchen. And show him some love and subscribe to his channel if you enjoy his videos. Alright guys, I will see you next time. Until then, please live blissfully and take care. Bye!